Um, so tell me about some of these things. Shall so we start with the funniest one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah start with the funniest they one. They gave up. They gave up. 3,500 years ago, they they threw this out because it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can grind on it again. We don't actually exactly know how it came into the Institute. Welcome to the Institute of Archaeology. I've been to many Primtechs. I am as old as Primtech. Oh, me too. As is Charlotte, yeah. As is me, yeah. So it is 35 for us as well. Time as old as Primtech. Wow. Yeah. Properly solidified. My first prim tech and did the pottery activity with somebody else, Phil, Phil Siller. Don't know if you've met him yet. He's he it. taught me mm -hmm. and now I'm like taking it on from him. He, he can, he can't make it anymore. I think people love to come back here because it's a way of, um, so you haven't if you don't see someone in a year, oh, you'll yeah. always see them at Primtech, so they just keep coming back. So it's kind of like a social thing. Like all the supervisors know each other because we always come back every year. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite nice. Mm. Oh, you. Oh. Here you go. We don't really want to see any of the wood, so if you see any wood, just cover it right over. Uh, it's been muddy, it's been wet, it's been pretty good all things considered, um, especially considering the rain. Yeah, today's just been packing up, making sure nothing's left behind that shouldn't be left here, um, going around in the mud, packing up wet tents, mm -hmm. but it's all been worth it, the, whole, the rest of the weekend, um, just been doing a range of different activities, from spear making, flint napping, fire making, foraging. So yeah, so, but it's been worth it. The rain, it's been worth putting up with the rain for, for all of that, yeah. It's just nice being like a fresh environment. Like, no pollution, just camping. Yeah, it's nice to learn about everything, but also it's just got a really nice vibe. Yeah. Like everyone's really friendly. Uh, it's different how I imagined it. It's a lot more chill than I imagined it being. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Way round. And try and keep your arm completely straight like your arm is an extension of the oh. arm. Oh. And that was a good shot. Though. But I hit keep you! you <laughs> really good shot. Oh. Nearly a headshot. Well oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna hug you! It felt kind of cool. You saved me! It wasn't even painful over it, but oh. It's alright. Kisses. Muddy kisses. To make it wet, to make it sticky. Mm. And apparently saliva works better. Yeah, than just normal water. <laughs> We're attaching the, what do you call this, a blade to the shaft? Yeah, the projector to the shaft. Mm. Yeah, I'm learning a lot. I made loads of notes in my green book, so that's good. <laughs> right hand of your right hand. Hammerstone sits alongside your index finger. Like that? If you just bend your fingers like that, over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. that sits alongside. So, that feels so you've got weird. a little gap there, but that okay, should cool. feel quite yeah, that's secure good, that's tip here. Okay, okay but really tight grip. Ooh, you. They are really I don't really know how to explain my The weight of the hand and the weight of the hammerstone will do most of it. All, all we're trying to do is strike it a few millimetres in to produce a nice oval or circular truth. Oval. So just keep turning it round. So this is a good opportunity before you start to learn about these things and these processes to actually have a go yourself. Um, so when you find things uh, in a trench or on a on an excavation site, you can you can understand where the the object might have come from in the first place. That's a genuine. Genuine. Huh? Genuine. genuine or genuine? Oh, genuine. So would this be like one of those Egyptian birds? Then the only way of getting the bread out was to actually smash, <laughs> smash the mould. So each mould only ever got used once. Oh. To make a bread yeah. because... <laughs> no more hands. All the injuries, I see. <laughs> Talking the devil. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
breakfast. I didn't have breakfast as you could, would have expected. So <laughs> you got a, you got a crowd here. Good charge them. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> um, we have separated the way, and we're manipulating the curds. And then we're going to press it for 24 hours, and then someone else will eat it, <laughs> not us, unfortunately. So, who'd like to cut the cake? So, if you should cut the cake mm. with these hands, yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice. Hard to me. The intention is to put up a structure as, um, just to see how quick it is to put up a structure. So we started about an hour ago and look how far we've actually got. So with the start of the walls and then we're going to be weaving in with hazel. And by the end of the day, we should have a, a really good solid structure with a fire inside. And it's just to see how, not how easy it is, but actually with intention, how quickly something like this could have gone up. You shape that with uh, another axe. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you do leave a space for that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can start. You're not committed to some. The earliest uh, instruments are bone flutes, and these guys are trying to make some flutes out of bamboo and to try and understand how much experimentation people would have used in the past to try and get the sound right out of a sound maker. Now that. Just needs to be exactly perfect. If you whack them straight onto a really hot fire, just... it's a really interesting topic, but it's not really represented in any of the other activities. And metal is so fundamental to a world we live in today. So I kind of want to instill them with a passion to explore it a bit more ahead of the rest of their degree. So, yeah. Plus, I really enjoy doing it, so... Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That brings a tear to my eyes. How did it go? <laughs> the mould now that it's okay. broken. Right on the wall. It was like that. Sorry. Oh, good, girl. You want it? How do I wash it? <laughs> Hang on. Just going to dunk it in the water. Mm. It's like metal work. <laughs> don't, don't take the dick. I mean, it's quite fast for a flame. It's okay. I've got a really cool thing. Oh. I don't know you put paint to each other. You want a yellow, I'm going to get a yellow. Sorry, I haven't tried some of these yet. It's really tasty. Uh, we've got like a nice selection of stuff. Is anyone vegan or vegetarian? Who would like a Frimtec handprint? 100% oh natural no. ingredients does contain pig fat and red oak. Oh. Oh, None of you. Then. Yeah. On the yeah. train can be terrifying. Okay. That's fine. Anyone else? I'm going to be on a train. No. So. Okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so no other take. Should we go back to London like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, the tent man. <laughs> okay, great. So. Okay, perfect. That's another good one. I'm like, I'm gonna have to try it. We're gonna have to bring them home on the tube, which will be fun. Get some strange looks. We're doing a litter pick. Hello. Oh, well, I was all the way down there. Oh. 